Hi, I'm Arjun from Wizards.exe. In this video, we're going to go over the default block program, which is the empty program. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit create new op mode. One thing to note is that I'm doing the block programming interface in landscape mode so that I have a little bit more width. And I'm going to call this default. So now I hit OK and I've created a new block program. You can see here, we have one function on the screen, this thing that says to run op mode up there. So I'm going to click that little question mark just to hide that on the top. But you can see that anything in this purple block here gets a run whenever this op mode is selected, whenever this program is selected from the driver station. One thing to clear up is an op mode is a program. Just in case you weren't sure about that, an op mode is a program. So there are three parts to this op mode here. There's the initialization blocks, the run blocks, and the loop blocks. We're going to start off with the initialization blocks, which are blocks you put directly under this block right here. So these blocks are before the wait for start block and are what get executed whenever you hit, once you hit the init button on your driver station, the init initialization blocks are what is going to run. So this is where you're going to define any variables, set any configs, define constants, things like that, things that can happen before your program starts. Next, there's the put run blocks here, or the, where the run blocks go. So this is directly after the wait for start block here, which means that this is what happens as soon as you hit the play button. The run blocks are not in any sort of loop, like right there. So this means that these are going to be the blocks that right, happen right after you hit the play button, but do not happen again and again. Finally, there are the loop blocks. So these are in this repeat while called default.op mode is active, meaning that as long as the op mode is active and it, the play button has been pressed before, this means that this is going to happen before you hit the stop button. As long as it's active, it's going to run through that loop and do the code again and again multiple times a second. This is where you're going to do things like get gamepad input and drive your motors, drive all of your servos. This is essentially where the bulk of the code of your program should be, as this is what's going to be running for the majority of your matches. And or it's going to be the majority of the match time. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.